DeepSeek V3.1 just shattered the AI playbook. We're talking 685 billion parameters, a 128,000 token context window, and performance scores that actually outpaced Claude Opus 4 while running 68 times cheaper. It didn't arrive with flashy marketing or hype. Instead, it appeared on Hugging Face without warning, and within hours the AI world realized this wasn't just another release, it was a direct challenge to GPT-5. What shocked people wasn't headlines, it was the numbers. On the ADER programming benchmark, DeepSeek V3.1 scored 71.6%, sliding past Claude Opus 4, which had been the reigning champion. Developers quickly ran the math. Coding jobs that once cost $70 on closed systems could now be executed for about $1. For startups or enterprises running thousands of tasks daily, that's a budget reset overnight. 685 billion parameters with a 128KA context window, able to chew through massive text inputs without choking. To put it into perspective, imagine feeding it an entire classic novel in one go. Stress tests showed it could handle giant inputs at speed, with accuracy that stunned researchers. Unlike older reasoning-heavy models that slowed to a crawl, V3.1 fired back answers almost instantly. It wasn't just scaled, it was optimized. The secret weapon? A hybrid architecture. Previous hybrid designs tried to balance reasoning, coding, and chatting, but usually ended up weak across the board. DeepSeek cracked the formula. For the first time, one unified system handled all roles seamlessly. The separate R1 reasoning label? Gone. Everything now defaults to version 3.1, a single flagship model. Researchers digging deeper found something else. Hidden tokens. Search begin and search end hinted at real-time web access. Think and end think revealed private reasoning steps before delivering answers. In short, V3.1 can plan internally and, if connected, even fetch live information. That means native reasoning plus native search inside one open source model. Benchmarks backed the hype. On SVG Bench, a test for visual and structural reasoning, V3.1 ranked just behind GPT 4.1 Mini. On MMLU, the gold standard for broad knowledge, it stood shoulder to shoulder with GPT 5. Yes, GPT-5 still leads on graduate-level Q&A and advanced software engineering, but the fact an open model is this close, it's a milestone. Even tricky logical comparisons like 9.11 versus 9.9 .9 were nailed correctly, showing fewer of those infamous numerical slip-ups. But the cost efficiency is what made headlines. AI researcher Andrew Christensen summed it up clearly. 71.6% on ADER, one point higher than Claude Opus 4, and 68 times cheaper. That's not theory, that's money saved in the real world. And the timing? Brutal. OpenAI had just unveiled GPT-5. Anthropic had just pushed Claude 4. Both closed, both premium priced. Then DeepSeek quietly dropped V3.1 for free. No press event, no paywall, just open access. The message was loud, while American firms lock frontier models behind expensive APIs, DeepSeek treats frontier intelligence as public infrastructure. That's not an accident. China's 14th five-year plan, released back in 2020, explicitly backed open-source AI as part of national strategy. The idea? Sacrifice short-term profit to accelerate global adoption. And it's working. Hugging Face's trending board has been flooded with Chinese releases, with V3.1 rocketing into the top five within hours. The community response was immediate. Hugging Face's head of product tweeted that open source AI is at its peak, pointing straight at DeepSeek. On Reddit, people noted longer outputs, stronger benchmarks, and the disappearance of the old think button. The model card wasn't even live yet, and V3.1 was already trending worldwide. This isn't DeepSeek's first industry quake. Earlier this year, when they launched V3, it cost just $5.6 million to train, using slower NVIDIA chips. That news alone wiped $600 billion off NVIDIA's market cap in a single day. 
Governments quickly banned the chatbot version over data concerns. But V3.1 isn't just a chatbot. It's an open model, downloadable by anyone, and that flips the economics. Closed AI systems are built on massive investments, research teams, compliance costs, and those expenses are recouped through high API fees. DeepSeek turned that model upside down. By giving away cutting-edge capabilities, they force competitors to justify their prices. Just like Linux reshaped the software world, once open source is good enough, premium options start looking less valuable. Yes, there are limits. The full model is nearly 700 gigabytes, so most users won't run it locally. But cloud providers are already preparing hosted versions, which removes that barrier. Soon, enterprises will be asking the obvious question. Why pay premium for closed models when a frontier-level open one is freely available? The momentum is undeniable. DeepSeek's community has already passed 80,000 members and is growing fast. Researchers long predicted they'd collapse multiple product lines into one flagship system. V3.1 makes that prediction reality. But the impact goes beyond benchmarks. For the first time, smaller teams are proving they can compete at the frontier without spending hundreds of millions. The myth that only Silicon Valley's biggest labs can build these systems? Broken. Today, countries, companies, even solo developers have access to tools that rival the world's best, 